Hello, this is Mike with ESP8266 Basic. I kind of wanted to give you guys a rundown of what the latest feature is and how this is going to help me and help you. Um, as you know, I've been going through and doing a lot of bug fixes lately, uh, cleaning things up, getting the uh, the version 3 really, uh, really ready for prime time and making it, you know, run a lot smoother. Now, uh, one of the new things that ESP uh, Basic has um, is the ability to use WebSockets. So WebSockets has replaced a lot of the older functionality of using the uh, the HTTP or uh, the, the post and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is, and this is very important, if you want to go and be able to use the new debugger feature, you need to open up your program, okay, and uh, you need to do a save on it first. Now what this does is it saves it to the ESP, but also in the background, the browser is able to store information locally. So as long as the, the ESP stays on this IP address, all the pages that the ESP serves up can access this locally stored information which is really nice um, and it makes it so that I don't have to push and pull as much data back and forth between the ESP uh, otherwise it would be really slow so what this did is it made a local copy of this uh, this program and it pushed it to the ESP which is good so now when I hit debug um, it brings up the debugger and notice how it shows me my program here. It pulled that out of the uh, the browser cache. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit run. And you can see it highlights the current line I'm on. So right here, I got my two buttons. This is a standard on and off program. So what it's going to do is it's going to toggle one of the I.O. pins on or off. And it's also going to give me these counters, so it tells me how many times I've hit each button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to hit the on button and watch as the code animates. So I hit the on button. You're going to notice how over here, how it incremented the value of X. So this is a text box that's in the page. It has the, uh, the value of X in there. If I go and I change that to, let's just say, zero, uh, and I click away, notice how it updates in the ESP memory. Um, and, yeah, so it's pretty nice there. Um, if I go and I hit off, notice how it goes and it animates me running the program. So it does the jump, and then it shows the, uh, the program as it's being executed. So I think that this is going to help a lot of people uh, be able to diagnose and figure out where things are going wrong. And it will also help me when I look at your snippets and stuff like that of code that's having problems, identify what's really going on. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I wanted to show you, and hopefully you guys like it.